My name is Shivaji Das Gupta. I work for Janus Life Sciences. Once again. My name is Shivaji Das Gupta, and I work for Janus Life Sciences. My name is Shivaji Das Gupta. Our company is Janus Life Sciences, and I'm a partner in this company. Slightly you sort of eyes. Are you looking at the back of the person sitting there? No. No? No. We will go right Look at me, sir. Yeah, OK. Your eyes are swifting like this. OK. Is it the first time you're facing it? No. My name is Shivaji Das Gupta. Our company is Janus Life Sciences. I'm a partner in this company. And our project is a small scale stevioside farming extraction technology at farm gates. Give us a brief about your innovation of the product project that you're working on. Stevia is a sweetener which is today acknowledged to be the most safe sweetening agent available to mankind. It's healthy, does not have the bad effects what sugar has. And this is being today used throughout the world as a zero calorie natural sweetener. Worldwide, the extraction technology available for stevia is based on large scale, which would mean thousands of hectares of farming, which are then arranged with the extraction unit for extracting the stevial glycosides, which is used for sweetening. There's no technology available which would help small size stevia extraction. We have innovated this process and the technology where a small farmer with a holding of three to five hectares could put up a stevia extraction facility at the farm gate and sell the product so that he gets a much, much more value add in the market. What are its applications? This is a sweetener. So anything that you want to be sweetened can be done with this product. It replaces sugar, and it does not have any of the bad effects that sugar has on human beings. So you could use it for sweetening your tea, your coffee, your yogurts, used for the deserts, used in bakeries, confectionaries, by the aerated beverages business, and anything that you want to sweeten. What are the USP of this project? The USP is that it's a small size extraction facility which has never been tested worldwide. This would help a local farmer in India and elsewhere in the world to add value to his produce. He grows his stevia in his backyard, puts up this extraction unit at his farm gate, makes the stevial glycosides, the sweetening agent, and sells it into the market. So he gets nearly 10 times of the value add what he would do only by farming stevia. Today, the process technology that we have developed for a very small scale size of extraction unit, he should be able to do it, including farm equipment, plant machinery, and everything put together below 50 lakhs of rupees. Do you think this will help the society in the long run? Of course, because it's a sweetener which has no ill effects. That's a fundamental difference it will make to society instead of using cane sugar for sweetening. Next, if you come to the agro business, the farmer who was only making the standard produce and selling it in the market at a very, very low value add, now comes and farms stevia, puts up the extraction facility, and gets a remuneration manifold compared to what he would be doing normally.
by a electrical heater we have a temperature sensor here so that we can maintain a certain temperature there and this hot water is getting recirculated by this pump over and over so that it can extract all the stevial glycoside from the leaf
they start taking it from the same side so that they can understand what is happening. Then they will edit it accordingly. That is what that is why I am asking you to think of this. One of the other things that you learn about art, they also have a very new Then the, what are the extra? Is treated in our electro population cell. Here, in this tank, we get the water extra and then electrolyze it with aluminium electrodes and with high current. In that, this process, uh, all the impurities in the water gets coagulated and they just floats at the top of the layer and the water extract becomes clarified. Then we take the water extract in an electrocoagulation cell. Here the water extract is electrolyzed uh, with aluminium electrodes and by passing a high current through it. In this process, all the impurities in the water extract gets coagulated and they float on the surface and we get clarified water extract.
compact phase, which has all the signal glycoside in it, is passed through an activated carbon column to decolorize it. Activated carbon absorbs all the colors and other impurities and clarified solvent extract comes out from the bottom. Then it's filtered by this filter. Then we take the clarified solvent phase into a vacuum filter. Here, this solvent phase is boiled under reduced pressure and the vapor coming out of it is condensed and we uh, collect it for recycling. And the entire system is kept under vacuum by this vacuum pump. And our solvent, the silver glycoside began begin crystallizing out just like this. Here you can see the crystallized silver glycoside and the solvent on top of it. Now the task is to separate the silver glycoside from the solvent by filtration and drying it under vacuum. After removal of certain amount of solvent by vacuum evaporation, the stevial glycoside starts to crystallize out, just like this. Here you can see the crystallized stevial glycoside at the bottom and the mother liquor, the solvent at the top. Now the task is to separate this stevial glycoside by filtration from this mother liquor and drying it under vacuum. This is Steve Dennis, who has been working on this project over the last two years. On the left is Onisha. She has been working hand in hand with the team lead, Mr. Shantanu Chakravarti. And this is Mr. Abhay Somani. He is also part of the management team in Ajanas, which is a firm established in India. Just a couple of things about Stevia. Now, Stevia as a sweetener was known thousands of years ago the Central and South American natives. That it was a healthy sweetener, doesn't have the problem associated with its sugar. In 1940s, the Japanese got to know this and started using stevia as a sweetener. Today in Japan, 40% of the non-sugar sweetener business is from stevia. Stevia per se, the glycoside available in stevia, which is the sweetening part of it, is about 250 to 300 times sweeter than the sugar. India consumes about 26 million tons of sugar annually. So if we could replace even a fraction of this consumption with stevia, then in a very small acreage, we could cater to the same population, population's urge for sweetness. 
So basically, this project has been assembled here, as you have seen, is a mini extraction unit, which has been assembled by us with the idea of commercializing it in a manner which is going to be sophisticated, yet very, very easy to use by anyone. The idea is that the farm cooperatives can take help of this small project, take stevia from the farms to the actual shelves in the market. This is the basic idea. You can understand that this entire project has been done up manually with, with the help of Mr. Shantu Chakravarti and Anish has done that together manually with the entire brains going in through. And now what we want is an absolute commercialization of this particular project and taking it forward in the correct way.